The game's back together again. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. And didn't mean to hit that twice. In the last episode, we reunited with the big bros thanks to the power of the baby super hammers of awesomeness. In this episode, we are going to finish up the Vim Factory by entering its final room. Let's go. You. That's one way to dispel energy. He's sipping a drink that causes him to pee that powers up the UFOs. Oh no! Why would you think to do that, stinking babies? Oh. Considering how technologically advanced the shrooms are, it's sort of weird that like the most advanced uh, method they have to give their UFOs their power is to use a caterpillar, hook its butt up to some sort of wiring system, and then have the energy from its urine, supposedly, power up the UFOs and have them have a bunch of hearts and whatnot. I don't think I know. Anyway, this is our first actual boss fight against the Swiggler. Wah. Now, something I've been uh, meaning to mention, but I just kept on forgetting. Mario & Luigi Partners in Time actually has a bit of different variations of difficulty depending on what region you are playing. I believe it was based on, like, what region came out first. I think the Japanese and European versions, they are a lot harder. And the enemies have, like, a lot more HP, or the bosses do. I could flash about screen what the HP comparison is for any bosses that we see from here on out. And because it was like considered to be too difficult, they reduced it a bit for the American version. So either that or it might be the other way around where uh, they thought it was too difficult in America, so they made it easier in other regions. I don't really know. Uh, I guess we'll just have to rely on Ch Teresa for that, but that's her job since she is the assistant who covers up for all of my mistakes. But yeah, what you're gonna wanna do is, if I remember correctly, I think the shrooms in the back are there just for to be a nuisance, so. Uh, for the sake of getting rid of everyone at once, though, we could go ahead and use our trusty fire flowers, which is always nice. I believe you could... Oh, yeah, I remember. The fire flowers actually can hit, uh... As you can see, it says right there, it can hit high-flying enemies if you use the baby. So use the baby buttons to hit high-flying enemies with a fire flower in case you wanted to use something like that. But whatever, we're gonna hit those guys on the ground, so we don't really have any need for that right now. This button mash... And not that much damage, so that's kind of unfortunate, but he gets angry and does a little earthquake attack. Really cool effect on the ground, though. That's uh, a nice little effect for DS times, I guess. Uh, he farts out a smoky puff cloud, and you gotta hit it twice to get rid of it. These guys are the same as always. Now, what you're gonna want to do... Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay, now I know how this works. So, you actually don't want to get rid of the uh, Dr. Shroobs, or at least keep one of them around. Uh, because you want to get rid of the one that has the poison mushroom this time around. Because if you hit this guy, his mushroom is going to get knocked into the Swiggler's drink. And it'll end up healing his HP. However, if we get rid of the one that has the poison mushroom, what do you think's going to happen, guys? Eh, eh? Uh, we're going to go ahead and have Mario just jump on this guy because we only want to... Oh, that was a dumb move. I didn't think it would counteract it. It heals 8 HP. I think it would have healed a lot more if we didn't mix the, the poison one in there along with it, but I was just trying to get rid of them both, but no, you just gotta want to get rid of one of them. Okay, I remember I took forever on this boss fight back in the Dizzy Day. I don't know if using two poison mushrooms is gonna make it extra weak, but we can certainly try. Boom, amazing, like the two poison ones like canceled each other out so it became a normal drink again. And he, beca he becomes sick. I could not for the life of me figure that out as a kid when I was playing this for the first time. So I was just on this fight for literally forever. It was really sinking terrible. But yeah, when he's all sick, he can't do anything really. So we're going to uh, use this opportunity to show off our cannonballers. Press each bro's button as they land on their foe. So it's basically a jump attack, but is super special awesome. And it does a lot of crazy damage. A, B, Y, X! Perfect rotation! I love it. 
the the numbers or the numbers the order in which they pop out is completely random so it's not always going to be like that but i remember seeing this in the original trailer for partners of time back in the day and this is what made me want to play the game it looks so sing and cool seeing them just fly out of that cannon with like the epic music and the narrator for whoever was reading the commercial and stuff it just seems so sing and cool and i loved it and it made me want to play the game and play the game i did unless you're just joining us and you weren't aware of that fact or something like that uh, what's he doing now? What's he doing now? What's he doing now? He is, uh, powering them up so they could shoot stuff at us. Oh, no. Uh, ouchies. Uh, oh, God. And they got a little bit of damage in. Uh, he does not have a cup with him right now, so we can't, uh, put stuff into his drank. But something tells me that'll change as soon as it's our turn to attack. Go and do that. And he's still attacking. He's really stinking mad, it seems. Uh, go do that. God darn it. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and eat that. I wish we were faster than the other ones so we could use that poison mushroom, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. Yeah, it doesn't mean we still can't attack it when he's, uh, powered up. It's just that he does not take that much damage when he's powered up like this. So, there's no real point in it, but whatever. Might as well just do that. Yeah, there's like two damage, four damage. Don't even want to waste a special attacking item on him. Even though I did so earlier in the fight, but now I'm just- It's all coming back to me now, so... Uh, now that I'm no better, I don't want to go ahead and do that. And we're just gonna wait for the shrooms to whip out their dranks. And yeah, he gets mad at us every single time we attack him. Oh, whatever. Also, how's the earthquake not knock a sticking drink over? I don't know how that works, but whatevs. And he's doing his little butt laser again. Like, it's just it's so stinking weird. And I just wait for that. And that. And a little bit of that, and ouchies. Oh jeez, oh god. I really hope I can get this way without healing Mario, come on. Let's do that, oh, we only had to hit it one time that time. One hop this time, pew! Two hops this time, oh god. Uh, back to Mario. Uh, it's not really anything shameful to use your items in these fights. It's also not that much of an inconvenience, because you do have mushroom drops that can heal both of your, not just both, all of your characters all at once, so. It's pretty good to have it like that. Let's go ahead and jump. And that. And then I guess we'll just... Hmm. Do I want to save it? For, eh, I probably don't need to save it, so whatever. Just go and do that. We'll get more mushrooms eventually. He gets super sick. And now it's time to just avoid that. And that. And he got super shrooms, so we better not attack him. Avoid those. And they both have super shrooms. Okay, so we're not going to bother with them for now. Instead, we're going to use the cannonballers. Pew, 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 pew. Boing, 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 boing. Keep on doing that 74 damage, and he's already dead. That is amazing. Get all that experience, all that coinage. Get two mushroom drops and get ourselves some level ups. Mario gets his level up right there and there. Uh, hmm, HP's looking pretty good. That's okay, sort of. That looks really good, actually. Should I do speed? Oh, yeah! Plus four. Luigi goes to level nine as well. Uh, this is... Okay... Yeah. Uh, oh, I see a six in there. Oh my god. Um... Let's see. We also, like, never upgrade stash, even though we really should, so... Huh. Oh, plus five speed. Very nice. got to the second Cobalt Star Shard, and Mario's the only one who's allowed to lift it because he's a Mario. We have collected two Cobalt Star Shards. Huh? Hmm? You spin me right round, baby, right round, cause you're an actual baby spinning us around. Baby Bowser swiped both Cobalt Star Shards! <laughs> Losers! 
thought you could get away with stealing my treasure from my castle, did ya? It's payback time! I'll take my treasure, plus whatever you just picked up as compensation! Prince Bowser, let's scram! Well, that's unfortunate. Cruel fate! We finally succeed in recovering the second shard, and now this happens. Shame cycle initiated. We must return to our own time and rework our strategy. Well, we finished up our first area, but not on a very happy note. Also, I don't know why we're separated right now. Uh, go and get them. We got nothing else to show for our troubles, unfortunately, but I guess we gotta report it to EGAD regardless. Or I guess we could say regardless, because he's EGAD. Get it? Take me away, cutscene. About time you boys showed. Ran into some persnickety obstacles, did you? I'm deep in a shame cycle, Professor. We nearly had a pair of fragments, but that young Bowser fellow made off with both of them. Now, now, no need to get your leather, your leather lathered. Wow. There have been new time holes popping up here faster than toast on Sunday morning. I think this happened this early. My God. Okay, we got two of them. And two more. Jeez. And I'll tell you, one of them is giving off tremendous cobalt star energy readings. I have no doubt that's the time hole you want. Yep, that's where Baby Bowser made his escape. Mario, Luigi, we must chase. We must have redemptitude. Look now, before you rush off, I think it'd be wise to survey the rest of the castle. And another thing, there's a noisy fella from the past running around with a baby. He and Toadsworth were in the garden. Can you make sure there's no hoopla out there? Sounds like a lot of hoopla! We're not doing that. But yeah, we can see the Toadsworth brothers are hanging out in the garden. So we should probably go ahead and see what they're up to. And we can go ahead and heal up right now. All HP restored. I don't know why it's only in the castle they give you the, the HP block or whatever. And more crying. Hooray. Look lively now, Elder Me. We must please the princess. Put your back into it. I'm absolutely spent. Pull yourself together, man. Smile, I say. Smile. Oh, he's going to turn in red. Toad's worth the younger. The princess, she won't. She won't stop crying. Tut, tut. Worry not, Elder Me. We've not yet begun to amuse. Arms out. Now. Three, two, one. Let's jam. Toadsworth twist! Jolly good, Elder, Elder Me! Our charge is giggling! Hmm. Oh, Luigi likey! Luigi examining! Ooh, Luigi C. Hmm. Oh, Masters Mario and Luigi! Grown right up, haven't you? I'm quite up to speed on our crisis. Bit of a sticky wicket. The adult Princess Peach, the kingdom, you must save it all. And I shall be right here as you do, rooting for victory. Uh, get it? Rooting for victory because he's a mushroom and that's, they have roots in the ground? I don't know, that's a stretch. What's that you say, old bean? You wish to learn our move? Well, if it will help you fulfill your duties, of course. It would be an honor and a privilege. Come, practice awaits. Chin up, Elder Me. Mustn't falter now. We've taken to calling this technique a spin jump. You'll soon see the precisely why. Master Luigi begins the move. Okay. okay. Are we all quite ready? Good. Commence the instruction. First, press R to make Master Luigi's icon change into the spin jump icon. Next, press B so Master Luigi leaps up and perches on Master Mario's shoulders. From there, press B again to make the two of you whirled about and rise skyward. 
And now it's rather academic. Press a direction on the D-pad to fly in said direction. Huzzah! This marvelous technique will allow you to cross gaps where mere jumping proves lacking. Have at it! So now it looks like the babies aren't the only one with new techniques. The bros have got one too. We could go ahead and spin like this and make it over very big gaps, which is very, very cool. Unfortunately, you can't jump with it. Uh, we can sort of jump with it. We can't like jump at the same time, time however. Uh, just go and do that. And you're done. Yes, yes, jolly good show. I trust you'll use it in your adventure in the field as well. I should think this spin jump will give you access to some awfully hard to reach areas. Now, time to be off, sirs. Utilize the new time hold. Rescue a princess! And they're gonna go ahead and spin for the rest of eternity. Oh my god, the second crying segments, I do not like them one bit, I'll admit that much, but like, it's, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, it's just like, it's really annoying, but thankfully it's not super frequent, but when it shows up, it's like, oh my god, just, can you not? Uh, but anyway, we got ourselves a bunch of time holes that we could explore in the castle, however, there's only one in particular that leads to progress, so let's go ahead and see what these are all about, though. Got this one right here, which takes us to... Holly Jolly Village! Okay, Mushroom Kingdom in the past. We can return to a place of old. Ah, I see. This makes a lot more sense now. It takes us back to this area where we weren't able to access before. Unfortunately, there is actually nothing here for you. There's no extra characters to talk to no side quests or anything i don't think you're required to come back here for the rest of the game it's just if you want to come back and listen to the music i guess you could do so there is nothing here for you though because everyone got abducted i don't know why exactly they make this place accessible but i guess it was just like i said for the sake of being able to go to all the places we've originally been to so i guess that's kind of cool get it cool because ice and snow yeah uh, there's nothing here for us to really do, so I guess we're just gonna head on out. What we need to do is just use the spin jump. It would be very awkward if we uh, weren't able to use that. Go and do that. And yeah, then again, actually, wait, they forced us to talk to the Toadsworth Twist. I was gonna be like, wait, what if we jumped in here without getting the Toadsworth Twist yet? And also, you may have noticed we just jumped in here without the babies, so that might be kind of bad. Leaving the babies to fend for themselves in an alternate timeline. How cruel we must be. Yeah, you can't actually leave without them. They just force them back on you. Okay, then. Go ahead and pick them up. And we could just make our way up here. This leads back to Bowser's Castle. I like how the, uh, the time holds all of these different stumps surrounding them. It's based on the floor that they're in. So that one has like a brick one. Uh, this one right here is like the grass because it's out in the field. Uh, just a little minor detail that I really appreciate. Uh, but we're gonna, yeah, what we're going to want to do. I don't know why I always want to say want to gotta do or whatever. Uh, sounds like Scooby Doo or something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and check out that time hole that's up above there to the northwest. I said northeast, but no, it's a north west. Make our way over here and find ourselves yet another one. Uh, wait, this one's a lot higher up, so I don't think we actually reached this one yet. Hmm. We could attempt it. I, I'm gonna always call it a Toadsworth twist just because he's the one who taught it to us, but. Uh, we got ourselves a bean right here, so I guess that's kind of nice. But I don't think we could actually reach this. Uh, no, we could not. Okay, that's kind of unfortunate. So this one's kind of useless. I guess there's nothing else we can really do. So, how's about we head on over to the shop? Let's see if he's got any new items for us. He's got super mushrooms, which heal 40 HP, and mushroom drops, which are now available in a shop. Hooray. Uh, nothing else of interest, however. Bro's items, he's got ice flowers. Ice flowers are basically the same as fire flowers in terms of how you use them, but they uh, work better on different enemies, and they do have a chance of lowering uh, defense because they are ice. Uh, I guess we'll just buy a couple of them for now. Don't really want to waste my money on items. I'd rather spend it on equipment because it's a lot more pricey and a lot more important. Uh, let's go with clothing. We got the branded slacks for Mario and Luigi. Both of them would benefit from this, so I'll go ahead and give that to them. And we got the preferred pants, which uh, gives the babies better defense, but less offense. So I think I'm going to 
I think I would prefer my better, my current equipment, so I'm just not even going to buy it. Uh, badges, we got the Shroom Badge, slightly increases points recovered from uh, using mushrooms in battle. Uh, Mario and Luigi still don't have badges, jeez. EXP Badge, which increases EXP received when you defeat enemies with attack items. Oh, wait a minute. Increases EXP received when you defeat enemies with attack items. That might actually be pretty good. Coin Badge increases the coins received when you use attack items to defeat enemies. Uh, I'm probably going to get the EXP badge. That sounds really good. I'm going to be kicking myself later if we get one for free in the not near future. Uh, we're going to give that to Mario. Do we really not have any other badge for Luigi? We're going to have to check that real quick. Uh, but I want to sell uh, any of our excess pants that we don't need anymore. Gonna sell those, and those, and those, and those. And we are good to go. Badges, however, what do we have with us? Did not mean to do that. I'm so used to pressing the X button to open up a menu. Gee, I wonder what game I've been playing recently. Uh, we do not have another badge for Luigi. That's unfortunate. Uh, I guess we'll... Eh, why not? We'll just get another one. Why not? If anything, we could just have an extra EXP badge to put on one of the babies, I guess. So we're going to put that on him. And we are good to go, basically. Got all that preparation taken care of. Now that that's settled, we could head upstairs and see where the next time hole is going to lead us. Hopefully I'm taking the right staircase. This would be super duper Ako taco if you make me go all the way over here just to have me go all the way back. Even though it's not anything on your end, it's something that I'm doing because I'm choosing to go this way. So I know I'm blaming you for it. At least we got a mushroom along the way, so that was pretty nice. And look at this, we got some coins as well. So either pathway seems to be a good pathway. Go and hit this. And you gotta ask yourself how anyone ever accessed this place before babies were invented. If or something, I don't know. Uh that time hole up there, I'm pretty sure we can't access it yet, so I'm not even gonna try. Uh we got a lot of items in here though, which is really cool. Let's go and grab all those. Now we got 20 coin in there. I say stash points are the toughest thing to folks for folks to figure. Just what are they? I don't know exactly, but if your stash points go up when you level up, uh, good things happen. It's easier to get lucky hits on monsters and do tons of damage, and also, you get special discounts when you go shopping, and, well, cool things like that. So play it smart and don't neglect your stash points. Oh, I, didn't, I completely forgot about the more likely to do lucky damage as well with the stash power. I thought it was just with the uh, shop discounts, so that's all it did, but no, thank you for reminding me, Toad. I very much appreciate that. Uh, before we head in there, we're probably going to want to walk over here just to see if there are any more uh, coinage thing of mahoozies for us to get. Uh, we're going to explore like a lot of the castle, though, which is kind of nice. This would also be your opportunity to go back uh, through Holly Jolly Village and uh, Bowser, Baby Bowser's Castle if you want to uh, access any of the bean spots that you uh, missed along the way that you weren't able to use. It's a level scent of royal pot pori. Shroomy. Okay. Somehow that's an innuendo or something like that, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, this will be your opportunity to go back and get any bean spots that you missed, but I don't really care about them, so I'm just going to ignore them for now. I'm not going to ignore this L block, however. One mushroom, very, very nice. Uh, this thing, I'm not even going to attempt it because I know we can't reach it. Uh, we're just going to forget about it for now. Keep on walking. And over here, there is another staircase. Huh. I don't entirely remember where that leads, but I guess we're about to find out. We're about to find out! Uh, we got ourselves... A door! ZOMG, I never would have guessed. Uh, ooh, we're getting to pretty much the dead end of the castle. Wild Trousers! That sounds really funny. Uh, what do we got here? I'm kind of crummy with that. It's better than our equipment already. Wild Trousers, it... Out of control trousers, out of control trousers for those who don't care about taking damage. So it's kind of like the unarmed jeans for the bros, basically. Uh, I guess I'll give that to Mario. Because Mario likes to live on the wild side. Him and his old pal Rick. Oh boy, good old classic Rick. That's not going to be funny for another five years, unfortunately. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Once Rick makes his appearance, you ain't ever gonna forget about him. Let me tell you about it. Oh, whatever. It's so sick and weird. Hit this. We got another one of these things, so give me a minute while I stay quiet and focus. 
32, okay, not as good as last time, but still, it's a good amount nonetheless. Uh, I don't think there's any point in any of these statues, so don't even bother with them. Uh, we're just going to go down here. Ooh, another bean spot. Very, very nice. Get ourselves a bean. We're going to make ourselves a nice uh, burrito later on, I'm sure. And I guess we're just going to head down now. I don't, know, I don't know how I entirely feel about this LP so far. I'm having fun playing the game and all, but I feel un not, like unusually out of things to say. I don't know if it's just the fact that I've been recording a lot of things uh, one after another recently, so I should probably take a take a break and uh, come back when I got more creative things to talk about. Or if it's just like the game in general where I just don't really have much to say about it, I don't know. Well, I guess I'm fill filling up the void with something at the very least, so it's not too terrible that I'm just uh, keep on keeping on. Hopefully it's at least entertaining to somebody, but I don't know, there's part of me that's like... I can't explain what this LP has been about so far because I've just been very Akotako and saying Akotako way too much. And a lot of the commentary, I feel like it's just been like, oh, we're gonna go do this. Yeah, I'm not entirely a big fan of that type of commentary, which is like explaining stuff that you see on screen that you don't really need me to uh, spell it out for you. But I don't know, I just, I'm just not interesting enough to keep up with the free range commentary forever and ever, so I guess it's all on my end for being lame. Hopefully I can fix that one day. One day I'll be cool, right guys? Eh, probably not. But whatever, we are going to access this new time portal right now, but first we're gonna uh, delay the inevitable further and further by getting ourselves some more things. A training badge, of course! As soon as I get the stinking extra badge for Luigi, we get a new badge that he could have equipped. Train badge, use as many attack items as you like, but lose a lot of power for practice. Okay, I actually didn't, wouldn't have wanted to equip that, so I guess it's fine that we got one of those, and uh, right after we bought another badge, uh, that leads us to progress, so probably don't, don't want to do that just yet. Go over here and use the spin, and get ourselves one coin. You know, like, considering the there are a bunch of blocks in this game that have more than one coin, like 20 or 50 coins in just one block, like, whenever you get just one coin in a block, you gotta question, like, why they even bothered doing that. I don't know, it was just sort of underwhelming and weird. Just like, oh, remember the classic coin blocks? Can't beat the classics. You gotta have that one coin block in there, because it's very cool. Back in my day, that's all we got. Uh, whatever. Kind of weird cranky comb was designed this game. Seems like it sometimes. He's all about going back in time and whatnot. Uh, nothing else up here, but yep, here's the pathway that we need to take. And I guess we'll bring the babies over here. And I guess we'll go ahead and end this episode off. Next time on Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, hopefully I'll have more creative things to say. And we will go ahead and enter the next area in the game in search of Baby Bowser and the two Cobalt Star Shards he snatched from us. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.